Hello, and welcome to the first weekly edition of The Loop. I'm Matt Bruning. And I'm Kayla Aloff. That's right, if you haven't heard, The Loop will now be available weekly every Friday. With our weekly episodes, we'll continue to promote excellence in government right here at ODOTS. You can always give us your feedback by going to our Facebook page or Twitter. After a decade of short-term extensions, the federal government has finally passed a long-term transportation bill. The Fixing America Surface Transportation, or FAST Act, allows ODOT to better plan for the future. The bill will increase federal funding to Ohio by 5% this year and 2.1 to 2.5% in each of the next four years. In addition to improving Ohio's roadways, there's funding for transit, and safety. Canton will soon be home to the largest hydrogen-fueled bus fleet in the country outside of California. The Stark Area Regional Transit Authority broke ground on a hydrogen fueling station on Tuesday. This is really a landmark project for Ohio and the Ohio Department of Transportation and Stark County to put this type of technology here in our state. The project is funded in part by ODOT. SARTA plans to begin carrying riders on a fleet of fuel cell buses by the end of next year. Now, here's the cool part, Kayla. The only byproduct of these buses is just water. Interesting. Meanwhile, you know, ODOT innovates with purpose yet again. We've partnered with Wright State University to build a new $3 million maintenance facility, including a salt barn, on their campus in Greene County. ODOT crews like the location along I-675 because it saves them time and fuel while treating the freeway during heavy snowfall. Not only does the deal make operations more efficient, which saves your taxpayer dollars, it saves Wright State almost $100,000 a year. Very cool. Speaking of snow and ice, who knew that one way to help with snow and ice removal during the winter is by cutting trees? Our Who Knew Guru is here to explain. Tree cutting, a vital maintenance activity. It removes potential hazards such as falling limbs and branches by using this sky trim. Also, removing tree canopies allows sunlight onto the pavement, which helps melt snow and ice. Mother Nature, our greatest enemy, yet our strongest ally. Who knew? Thanks, David. People in Cleveland enjoying the new West 73rd Street. A ODOT project there includes a tunnel beneath the railroad track. It then connects with the existing access to Edgewater Park. Work on the extension began in July 2013. It also features new bike facilities, lighting, and landscaping. Very cool. Well, you can connect with us online at transportation.ohio.gov or on Facebook and Twitter. Now, you're in the loop.